after dangerously high levels of PCBs were found in Burlington High School, Vermont's legislature decided that schools across the state should be tested as well. Some of the findings are leading to some pretty big price tags. The state says one of the schools with the highest levels of PCBs is North Country Union High School in Newport. That school is set to begin two weeks from today. And the big question is, will students be able to safely be in that building? NBC5 Sid Bule has more from Newport. Vermont has been testing its schools for cancer-causing chemicals, but some of the results are leading to very expensive renovations. As, as much as I hate to say it, and as much as I hate that it's the case, uh, North Country Union High School is the reason we're running this testing program. Around 26 classrooms in North Country Union High School tested positive for dangerous levels of PCBs, leaving the state to figure out how to make it safe. There are uh, remediation strategies. I uh, don't know if they're going to work, um, but, uh, but they're working feverishly uh, to get that accomplished. But fixing schools like NCUHS is costing the state millions of dollars. Testing half of Vermont schools and needing to fix one third of those is quickly eating up the 30 million that was allocated. We actually anticipate that we will exhaust the available funding uh, in, in implementing the necessary mitigation and remediation in that group of schools where we've completed testing. Up in Newport, classes resume in two weeks at the high school. And right now, it's unclear if it'll be safe to be in the building yet. We're developing as many contingency plans as we can and uh, trying to, to make sure that we're making the safest uh, safest plan possible uh, that also balances the academic and social and emotional needs of our kids. But the school and community is concerned that having students learn remotely could cause more harm. When kids don't feel connected, they um, get disengaged and then uh, things like chronic absenteeism becomes a larger issue. Instead, the district is also considering measures like modular classrooms, but says they would need state funds to make it happen. But we need to work with our state agencies in order to find the money to do that because we live in a very impoverished part of the state and it would be difficult for our taxpayers to, to um, carry that burden. And down the line, a bigger price tag looks likely for the district and its 58-year-old high school building, even if the PCB levels are lowered. Now we are almost $6 million later into a project that could have gone towards building a new school. and so. We ultimately uh, will be moving in that direction. For now, the district and the state are waiting for the latest round of PCB tests to come back to determine if school can be back in person for the last week of August. In Newport, Sid Buley, NBC5 News.